right, let's take a look at how to use Odyssey to help us build some of these molecules so that we can look at the shapes and kind of play around with them. So it's helpful a lot of times to draw the, the Lewis structure for the molecule um, to get you started. So for this first one, CH3Cl, carbon we know is in group 4A, so it has one, two, three, four dots, and fluorine is in group 7A, so it gets one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then there are three hydrogens, each which have one dot. So I'm going to connect all of my dots. Boom, 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 oops. Boom and boom. I've got my structure. Now the shape around the central atom here, the carbon has four things around it. So that means that it's tetrahedral. All right, then I've got to build it in Odyssey. So when I open up Odyssey, there's this button in the top left that if you kind of put your cursor over it, it says new blank sample. So I click on that. And if I click anywhere, it automatically starts me off with a carbon. And then I can see from the choices of atoms that there's a chlorine. And so chlorine is apparently this lime green. And then um, anytime I wanna fill hydrogens, I can just hit the play button and then hit pause. And that's kind of the easy way uh, versus manually adding them. Um, I'm gonna face it in the direction um, of my drawing so that it kind of matches. You don't have to do that, but then I'm going to take a snip and I'm going to paste it. Try to paste it into my table. Yay, sometimes it goes off and then it's annoying. Okay, there we go. All right, next one, HCN. It's a little thicker. So let's start with carbon. It's got four dots. Nitrogen has five dots, and hydrogen has one. So I want to bond everything once and then go from there. So I can see I'm going to have to redraw this one because it's very messy. We've got a triple bond between the C and the N. So when I redraw this, I'm going to draw my three lines on top of each other. There we go. Now, the shape around the carbon here is just linear. There's two things attached, and there's no lone pairs to kind of repel and push those two sides anywhere. So that one is the simplest of our shapes. And then let's build it in Odyssey. This one's a little trickier. You can't build another molecule on the same page. So I once again go up to that new sample. And if I look carefully, the third carbon choice down is a carbon that has a triple bond. So I'm gonna click on that one and then click on my page. And I'm gonna rotate this and zoom in a little bit better so you can see it. Now there's a nitrogen that has a triple bond right next to it. So I'm gonna click on that and bond those two together. And then I can still press play to get my molecule. And you'll see it is showing the vibration. And don't worry about this arrow for now either. I'm gonna get this into a good screenshot position. Perfectionism, there we go. And paste that, I've gotta make it a little bit smaller. And it's lined up with kind of how I drew it, which is helpful. All right, next one, we've got CH3OH. So carbon, once again, four dots. Oxygen, six dots. And then I'm going to connect them once because I have to just put hydrogens on now. And there's four lonely dots. So I can see immediately where my hydrogens need to go. 
Now for the shapes, there's actually two central atoms here. Remember, a central atom is something that has at least two atoms attached to it. Carbon has four atoms attached to it, so that would be a tetrahedral shape. And this oxygen has two bonds and two lone pairs. That makes it a bent shape in three dimensions. So now I'm going to open Odyssey and build this. So I want my carbon with four things attached, and I want an oxygen with two bonds. And I want everything else to be a hydrogen, so I can just click pause. And I want to get this into a place where it looks similar to my drawing. There we go. Make sure you can see all the hydrogens there. So we've got tetrahedral and bent. That looks right. It's nice to be able to check kind of your what you think the shapes are with the actual um, 3D modeling. There we go. Next is CH3 again, but this time NH2. Okay, so we're going to go open a new sample and another carbon, but this time we're going to attach a nitrogen. So it's that top nitrogen. And I'm going to press play to get my hydrogens on and get this in a good view to take a screenshot. That looks good. Oh, that's funny. I just built it first without even thinking. Um, I guess we're doing this one backwards. Sorry. I mean, I totally planned this. I wanted you guys to try it backwards. All right, it's actually gonna be pretty simple to draw like the last one. Carbon's got four dots. Nitrogen has five dots. Connect those once. And then there's five lonely dots, which is perfect for the five hydrogens. So CH3 and then NH2, that's a total of five. The shape around the carbon, which has four bonds, is once again tetrahedral. And the shape around the nitrogen is trigonal pyramidal. It's got three bonds and one lone pair. Pushing those three down makes the shape like a little pyramid. All right, let's do the last one in the correct order. Two carbons, each which have four bonds. So I'm going to bond them once, and then there are four hydrogens to place. And so I'm still left with two lonely electrons on the carbons. So I'm going to bond those, and then I'm going to redraw this neat. So it's a carbon bonded to another, double bonded to another carbon with those four hydrogens. There are two shapes here, but they're both the same. So they both are three things surrounding, three atoms. And so that shape is called trigonal planar. And let's build it and see if it makes sense. So there is an option, the second carbon down, where it's a carbon that has one double bond. And then you can choose that one again, click on it again, and then it will double bond those carbons. And you can press play to add your hydrogens. I'm gonna try to rotate this. Level enough. And so you can see that those are in the same plane. It's not like the pyramidal. When you rotate this one, it's just really flat. There 
there we go. Now we've got, we've covered the five basic shapes. We saw tetrahedral multiple times, so you should really have that one down. Um, but this is some good practice using Odyssey.